My name is Mark Lindemann, and uh, we've been here for nine years. So I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, my family was very involved in church. I grew up Catholic, did go to church on Sunday. The thought about talking about God during the week never came across our minds. When I was old enough, we helped my siblings and I, we helped my parents teach Sunday school classes for little kids. At our home, we listened to Christian music, we read Christian Bible stories, we read the Bible, we talked about the Bible. We are trying to, with God's help, raise our kids the same way. So we prioritize prayer in our family. This year, part of their school, we are learning about different people groups and countries that need Jesus, and we're praying for them. I am uh, currently working a sex ch second shift at my job, and because of that, I'm at home at night when the girls go to bed. I set the timer on my phone at 8.30. Every evening, I call the girls, and we pray over the phone. It's a good habit to get into, to pray before bed, pray before meals when you wake up. We prioritize Bible study. We believe that Bible study is very important, and we're blessed to homeschool, so uh, we do Bible as part of our school, and we do that first because it's the most important topic. From when they were little, we've had them memorize scripture, and now they're involved in Awana, which is a program that also encourages them to memorize scripture. And finally, for service, uh, when, we, when we are on vacation, we always make a priority to find a place to go to church on Sunday. It's when we are camping, which we do a couple times a year on Sunday, uh, we will have a, a small communion service at our campsite. We also have prioritized serving, and Feed My Starving Children is a really good place for families because the children can serve right along with parents, and that's um, a really nice place. You have to intentionally prior to prioritize the time you spend at church and the time you spend talking to your children about God. Praying about being intentional you know, help me to say something, say what my kids need to hear. The investment you have in their faith can blast them to their entire life. You put the perspective on that this is the important stuff and the rest of this stuff is good, but not as important as this. The joy comes then. You need to get your kids involved. You don't have to wait for them to grow up. Yeah. They can serve now. And you just have to find places for them yeah. to do it. It changes your life to the point where now going, not going to church on Sunday is strange. Not talking about God during the week is strange. Our walk with God is priority. We don't schedule anything that would interfere with that. It's first, and it will always be first in our family. We, we are, are the Lindemans, and, and this, this is, is our, our testimony. testimony.